once again to Disneyland Paris. The roundabout, take the third exit. Sat and have still singing in the background. And what have you been singing all the way, Gary? What have you been singing all the way? Speed traffic bodies ahead. <laughs> Didn't quite hear that. You have to be a bit louder, I think, because I don't know. Speed traffic bodies the roundabout. <laughs> He's been driving me mad. He's just been singing what the sat has been singing. So anyway, um, we'll explain to you in a minute what this trip's all about and where we're going and why we're going because there is actually a reason for this trip. Um, but we're virtually at Ebbsfleet now. Um, we sort of had a bit of a stressful morning dropping Pablo off and sorting some things out. Have a tip. Don't be so horrible. He's not been a very well doggy and um, we've been trying to sort things out with him. So... Um, when we get if this sat nav will ever shut up when we get <laughs> when we get uh, on the train or down at the station we'll we'll fill you in on what's happening but uh, yeah we're looking forward to this one a bit different hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog series speed trap reported so all the way here We've, we've, we've come to Ebbsfleet, we've just arrived at Ebbsfleet and all the way here that's all Gary has been doing is singing that Speed trap reported ahead And this is before we're even on the train, this is how annoying he is So we uh, we didn't vlog first thing because um, it was a bit stressful dropping Pablo off this morning He's gone to stay with my dad and uh, he's not been very well has he poor old Pablo He's got a poorly leg, we were a bit worried about leaving him this time um, so we, we got all that stress out of the way, um, but now we're at Ebbsfleet. We're just about to go over and board the train. But this is a slightly different trip because we are actually going for two events. The ground's really soft. Oh. Can you see what kind of a journey I'm going to be in for? So th this, <laughs> I hope so. This is um, this is a different sort of trip this time. We're only going for a long weekend, um, and we are going to be there during two events. So today is the very last day of the Toy Story Play Days in Walt Disney Studios. So although we don't get there till sort of mid afternoon, so your last chance to see Woody. We're. Uh, we're um, hoping to, um, no, I think they do meet and greets anyway. <laughs> just, just ignore Gary, just ignore Gary, please, everybody, just ignore Gary. Okay, so back to serious stuff. Um, yeah, it's the Toy Story Play Days and they've been on for about eight days i think um today's the very last day um and we don't get there till mid-afternoon but we're hoping to be able to go there for just go away uh, for the last couple of hours of it and ho hopefully um see forky and um bo peep and, and such like and woody okay. yeah anyway um so that's today and i hear they've got some really good treats there as well um woody jesse bo peep and some um a forky and some pixar apples and things like that so i want to go and see if we can grab some of them um and tomorrow um well this weekend sorry sunday is um the start of the festival of the lion king we're hoping so we are going to be there for the opening of that um but tomorrow is a very special day please be serious tomorrow is a very special day because we are actually meeting up with some very special people so tomorrow is a very special day because we are meeting up with some special people. We are meeting up with Fiona and Scott from S uh, uh, there, from F and S Adventures. I'll we'll put their link down below. I'm sorry, it's just he's just trying to really wind me up now. Stop it! Help you out, <laughs> so many moons ago, like last October, when uh, I was going to say, well, we didn't know what we were doing, but we still don't know what we're doing. But yeah, last October, uh, we just got back from Disneyland Paris. We'd start to put some vlogs up and um, we had 31 subscribers, um, for which we were very grateful. But we had no clue. We had no clue about Instagram, Twitter, how to work YouTube. Still don't have much of a clue, but we're slowly learning. Um, but they reached out to us and they basically said, you know, Good we're here to support you. Um, and we'll help you in any way we can. And they have been the most amazing mentors, friends, supporters, 
just they've been brilliant um, and so we've agreed that we would actually meet up in Disneyland Paris this weekend so we're really looking forward to that very excited got a couple of little presents for them as well silly little things to give them which uh, we'll uh, we'll you're show you like Santa Claus look oh ho, ho, ho. do like they all, know what they're like in for white hair. oh do, Santa hair. do they really know what they're in for meeting us Right, I think I'm going I'm a bit to English. So I probably won't say anything. Bit shy. Too yeah. shy. Shy. Oh, don't start that again. <laughs> right, I'm going to end this now. We're going to toddle off over to the miss airport. The train, look. Yeah. I can see it from here. Yeah, we're going to toddle off over onto the, onto the station. I nearly said airport, but that's wishful thinking. Hoping that we might be going to Florida one day. Anyway, yeah, keep up that campaign, guys. The get Gary to go to Florida campaign. Just give me loads of cash then. I'll take it there. <laughs> Anyway, um, we'll end this now and we'll probably catch you up when we're either in the station or on the train, but we'll see you later. Wish me luck for this journey because I think it's going to be a difficult one. I will just burn out so you can sleep. Oh, I really hope so. I really hope so. See you later. Hi folks. We didn't vlog on the train. We didn't vlog walking from the train to the hotel because the train was a bit of a nightmare journey in as much as it was absolutely packed on there. Um, and we had a couple of, let's just say, ladies who lunch, um, who were more interested in sitting away from their children drinking their Chardonnay than they were looking after their three little darlings who were a nightmare. Um, and uh, yeah, basically they used the whole of the place like a trampoline park and a play centre mm. up and down the train, which was really annoying. Um, so we just couldn't be bothered and the little girl behind us, bless her, she was so sweet. She had her little um, tablet on and uh, her mum told her to put her earphones in because it was a bit loud. And she put the earphones in, was singing and didn't realise how loud it was. So she was singing, bless her, at the top. She, she sang happy birthday about 20 times in a row, didn't she? Mm. And, um, and she was singing loads of other things, but she was quite sweet. But yeah, so we stepped off there of the... It's miniature people. <clears throat> yeah, we love Speed little children. Trap reported ahead. Sorry about that. So Gary has been doing that since we were in the car. Seems to, have, seems to have uh, ingested a stat net system somehow. Yeah, and in a moment I'm going to kill him. Anyway, we got off of the train. Uh, we were the first ones off. Brilliant. Then Gary took us the wrong way. Down the platform. Yeah, we came into a different platform and got disorientated and we legged it the wrong, wrong way. way so we then we ended up <laughs> came back we was at the back of the queue so that and was that a nightmare really well. yeah <laughs> and uh, we stepped out and it was a bit like when you get to florida and you get that warm blanket feeling when you uh, step off the plane it kind of hits you well it's kind of like Ugh! you can't breathe it was um and they've just it's just come up on my phone that the hottest recorded temperatures ever in france 44.3 degrees um i have to say downstairs in reception the poor girl who booked us in was melting wasn't she and she said it was yeah. just so Passed hot here well. she, um, she didn't and they've got huge great water dispensers all full of water and ice which um, they're encouraging people to stop and drink so that's good but yeah so we've come up to the room which is so hot um, we are now going to go into Walt Disney Studios because they have um, Toy Story Play Days which I want to try and catch the end of. Today's the last day so uh, I want to go and do that quickly, hence the years. I did have a really nice Toy Story top that I bought but it's a full t-shirt and it's black and I just don't think I can wear something thick no. like that at the moment. It's sort of um, bursting into flames. Yeah, um, so yeah it is meltingly hot. Um, so we're going to do that and then we might... <laughs> Um, grab the train up to Val de Europe just for a couple of hours, just have a mooch around the shops because we're only here for the long weekend so uh, we might do that quickly and perhaps cool down in a bit of the aircon there um, and then as the park's open till 11, the main park tonight, we'll come back and, and perhaps do that later. So we'll take you along with us wherever we go and uh, hopefully go and meet Forky! <laughs> Right, we'll see you later. Oh, just another thing as well. We won't do a room tour because we've, we've you know, stayed at the Sequoia before. We've shown you before and it's always pretty much for muchness. Got but, a lake view. but we have got a lake view. We'll show you. We didn't pay for lake view. Um, oops, excuse me, dropping the camera almost. But uh, yeah, we've had, if you can see there, we've actually got a lake view, which is pretty nice. Above, um, the, uh, above the 
breakfast restaurant part. Yeah, and the little veranda bit. So, yeah, we can watch the people coming in and out. Right, we're going. So we'll catch you on our travels. See you later. Oh my goodness. Yes. We have just walked out and it is stiflingly hot. I cannot tell you the difference between coming a couple of months ago in March where we were so cold that we didn't know what to do with ourselves and now it is uh, unbearably hot. I mean this is this is like Florida isn't it? Yeah. I would say that this was very very well it's actually hotter than Florida. Well yeah it is hotter than Florida at the moment. But yeah it is uh oh, I think it's going to be a slow paced weekend somehow. Oh, that's one hell of a walk. One hell of a walk back from oops, from the Sequoia to here. But here we go. We are just about to go into Walt Disney Studios. Oh God, it is hot. So we're in here. We're back home. Uh, all the Toy Story buildings up there. It is very, very busy. It is very, very hot. And people are trying to grab shade wherever they can. People are laying over the grass the banks. Um, they're sitting next to hoardings if there's a bit of shade. Uh, we just can't believe. I mean, two months ago when we were here, we were freezing, really, really freezing. And now we're like so hot, we don't know what to do with ourselves. So I can't see. The sun's beating down and I can't actually see what I'm even filming at the moment but uh, I must say though they've put out extra catering um, caravans haven't they with more um, you know waters and drinks and things in so um, so that's good they're doing that to do it but here we go we're going to go into Playland and see what we can find. There he is there's Buzz. Le sergent a rassemblé ses seuls derrière pour montrer au parachute. Car il est chargé et très compté. Oh, look, the uh, Green Army soldiers are out. Gosh, I bet they're hot. <laughs> I bet they are very hot. <laughs> so there he is, there's Forky. So apparently Woody and Bo Peep get here at half past four. So apparently it is 4.15 now and the queue is in the sunshine and it actually goes all the way back, all the way round, all the way along there and all the way round to parachutes and I just don't think either of us want to sit or stand in this intense heat as much as I really really would like to meet Woody, Bo Peep and obviously Forky even though he's just a little statue. Um, I just probably been meeting Parsi Elty. Yeah, I just don't think I can warrant standing in this direct sun. This first bit of the queue is okay, people are sitting in shade, but as you go round, it's literally in direct sunlight. And as it's uh, apparently just come on the news that it's the hottest day ever, I think um, maybe that's not sensible. So I think we'll just wander around instead and just see. Uh, just met the Green Army soldiers, so yeah. Green Army toy soldiers. Yeah. Oh, bag for them, yeah. So yeah, we made Chris some ears, didn't I, with them on yeah. camouflage and toy soldiers. So yeah, I just don't think we can um, warrant sitting in the sun. It wouldn't be sensible. So we're just going to have a little wander around. See if we can go on. We're deaf in a queue. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know, times like this, as much as you'd love to do all these things, I think you have to. Uh, do a bit of self-preservation as well so let's have a wander anyway see what we can see stinky dog oh wow it's a bit of a queue there 
Oh, I think it's the green soldiers again. The army soldiers. Yeah. They're by Rex. What's a white slinky dog got? We could go on that. Might give us a bit of breeze. <laughs> Sensible place for these uh, soldiers to wait, I think, in the shade. Hello, Rex. when he sees all the 3D things coming at him and uh, mum's totally uninterested and then mum's phone rings and it goes on and on and she picks it up and has this lovely Spanish loud conversation whilst everyone's on the ride and the family in front of us turned around and gave her a filthy look but she still carried on she eventually puts the phone away and um, she eventually puts the phone away and then uh, as we're going around, this boy's so excited she's not taking the blind bit of notice of him. The phone rings again. She spent the whole time on her phone. Can't believe it. So rude. Anyway, we uh, we've come. Speaking to me. Yeah, we just come past to see if we can see a glimpse of of Woody, but there still appears to be nobody here. So I'm glad we weren't waiting in the. Yeah, see that it's completely empty still. He's not there, and it's now five to five, and he was supposed to be there. Oh no, hang on, is he there? Oh no, it's just children playing there. Oh, no, no Woody, so I don't think I'd want to wait. Sorry? Oh, Slinky Dog queue small, okay, but this is the queue. Um, they've obviously shut the queue now, but I don't know. Anyway, we're not gonna do that. What's Slinky Dog's time? Let's have a look, what does it say? All the people that are in there are all on the cover, so... Uh, I can't even read it. The sun's shining on it. Five minutes. Five minutes. So let's go get ourselves a bit of Slinky Dog. Oh, yeah. Bonjour. Don't do that. I didn't do nothing. My hands are here. Yeah, they? his hands weren't there. I had three arms, though. Gary! Oh, my God. What, what can I say? One. Two, three. Yeah, okay. Right, let's go and have some slinky fun. We've just come off Slinky Dog and just come round, and now we've seen that Woody is actually there. Woody and Bo. And Forky. So, yeah, we would have liked to have uh, queued, but it's just too hot. So these are the special snacks. There's, there's uh, Jesse, 
which is hazelnut chocolate shortbread and wood is the same and then you've got the apples and forky so Oh, there's a bigger picture there. There we go. I think we might have to give one of these a try. Might come in a bit. Whew. So we are just stopping at the back of a uh, like a caravany snack shack thing, um, and uh, it is just so hot we are melting. So we've just stopped to get one of the limited edition uh, snacks. We can't get a four key because they're sold out. And we've got a woody. And apparently it's shortbread with a chocolate kind of filling. Hazelnut. Chocolate hazelnut. And yes, I read. Ah. And uh, didn't know you could read. Um, and a bow peep. I mean they're quite big. Um, they were a slight improvement on the um, Star Tours one that we had before, the Star Wars ones, where they had, uh, well, Chewie looked like a seal, didn't he? Yeah. yeah and uh, Yoda had seen better days or whatever, but these are quite big. Um, and this one apparently is caramel, so we're going to give these a go. So I'm going to try Bo Peep first. It's kind of a rice paper on top. Caramel. Oh, Woody, what are you biting? Well, I thought you were going to try some. This one's caramel, that one's chocolate hazelnut. Which would you prefer to try? Guardians of the Galaxy one as well, didn't we, before? Yeah, they were quite small. Mm. Um, no, not bad. I mean, let's sit and eat these and then um, I think we might mooch out and see if we can go to Belgian Europe because it's uh, so stiflingly hot in here. But it is very, very busy. Very busy. In fact, this is good preparation for Florida. If I get Gary to agree to go because it's hot, it's crowded. Um, What do you think? <laughs> so we just had our biscuits. Um, opinions. Very dry. Um, Woody was better than Bo. 
didn't really find the caramel in bow at all, but you know, served a purpose to stop and just have a little nibble while we sat there. But it is so super hot now and very busy, so we are now going to go catch the train to Belgium, Europe, and do a little bit of shopping in some air con conditions just to give ourselves a break and to pace ourselves. We were up quite early this morning because we had to get everything sorted out with Pablo. And normally, if he goes to the dog sitter, he goes the day before. Um, but this morning, because he was going to stay with my dad, uh, we had to do that this morning. And there was lots of things we had to get prepared and ready for my dad as well. So, um, yeah, we've been up since early. And I think with this heat as well, we're just needing to pace ourselves a bit. So, I think some air con shopping is what's called for at the moment. So, we're going to do that. The park. The um, studios is open till 7 tonight, but the main Disneyland park's open till 11. So it gives us plenty of time to go off, do some stuff, and then come back. So that's what we're going to do. And Gary's just walking past the melting. Yeah. <laughs> it's too hot to even speak. Oh, <laughs> it is very warm, though. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. And look up there, you've got, obviously that buzz one's been there for a while, but there you've got, Toy Story 4, we've got Forky, is that his mum and dad? <laughs> and uh, Woody? Oh, yeah. Gosh, it is so, so hot. Yeah, they're actually doing a preview, a 15 minute preview of uh, Toy Story 4 in the cinema, in the um, theatre just around the corner, so. Yeah. Oh, look at that over there, all that staging. Mm. Oh, that's new. Let's just go and have a quick peep. Just notice that the uh, staging area where they normally do like little shows and things, it's got loads of lights and all sorts up. That's worth investigating. Toy Story. Yeah. Oh, it's on the back of it. Oh, let's go and have a look. I think, um, as you can see, it looks reasonably empty here, and I think that's because you'll find that everyone is around the edges, <laughs> wherever they can find shade. Nobody's walking in the uh, direct sun most of the time. They're all trying to hide in the shade at the sides. I mean, this really does feel like Florida. It really does. So, oh, look all the Toy Story bits over here. Let's go and have a look at some of this merch. Oh, look, we've got Jesse, aliens, the green soldiers, oh, lots of bullseye, a new bow. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's, this is where you can. Um, this is where you can see the Toy Story exclusive sneak peek I mean obviously we've already seen it so we're quite lucky but yeah that's where you can go and see that and yeah they've got all this uh, staging up so I'm wondering if that's ready for the um, Lion King show well no because I think that's in the other park isn't it so I'm not quite sure what this they don't normally do all this kind of thing but interesting <laughs> 